All the golf fans watching this, you probably, definitely remember how Bryson DeChambeau won the 2020 US Open and then declared he'd be switching to 48-inch drivers. The champion claimed he wanted better equipment options in order to cover more distance with his shots, and this idea took the golf world by storm. Two years later, this trend has gone completely backward, with golfers shortening their drivers instead. Case in point, Cameron Smith. First up, longer driver shafts. Bryce DeChambeau definitely had a reason for advocating for longer driver shafts, and that was the simple quest to cover more distance and consequently send the golf ball flying at a higher speed. And two years ago, this idea seemed like the best innovation in the golf world. The use of longer drivers became widespread and it seemed as though they were the future of golf equipment. But then the USGA added a local rule option, limiting the length of drivers to 46 inches. Now quite the opposite seems to be happening. Players are beginning to go in the opposite direction and they're finding that the shorter the driver length, the better their performance is on the field. Why is that, you ask? Because apparently, Shorter drivers mean better center contact and dispersion of the ball. More on this later. Let's jump into Cameron Smith and his specific reasoning behind this sudden decision, shall we? Next, the player's champion at the US Open 2022. Smith's been doing everything he can to make his performance as great as possible for the US Open this month. Taking place at the Country Club in Brookline, Massachusetts, the US Open is one of the most esteemed events in the golf world, and adjusting one's bothersome driver is kind of necessary if you want to make waves. This is exactly what Smith's aiming for. Being the Australian number one golf player with two PGA Tour wins under his name this year alone, not to mention his number five ranking in the FedEx Cup. In his last few starts, the player felt like his driver performance was not up to par. Yeah, pun intended, if we're putting it lightly. Definitely a cause of concern, considering him playing the leading role in the seven strong Australian contingent and his goal to join Jeff Ogilvie and David Graham as US Open champions. The US Open is the one championship that the player thinks will let him play the best of his game. If his equipment doesn't let him down, that is. Smith's greatest struggle lately has been finding fairways on the golf course that are off the tee. Keeping the ball on the fairways is trickier in the US Opens, since they're barely won from the rough around the edges of the single lane fairways, a specialty of the tournament. On top of that, Smith ranks 151st on the PGA Tour and 143rd in strokes gains off the tee, giving him a DAP or a driving accuracy percentage of 56.70%, which, unfortunately, are numbers that rarely ever mean success in the US Open. This is a major cause of concern for both him and his coach, Grant Field, and the two have been working on improvement in this area of the game recently. This meant his driver setup needed to be examined as well, with the kind of examination that'd give the world number six the best chance of success in the US Open. Now, the change is made. So in the quest for gaining more control over his driver, Smith took off half an inch from the shaft. The player's regular Fujikura Ventus Blue 6X shaft was shortened, and the head of his Titleist TSI-3 driver was adjusted too, with the weight of the head changed up a bit so that the swing rate of the driver remained the same. Smith's driver in the last few years was a 45-inch build, and it's only recently that he's chosen to use the 10-degree Titleist TSI-3 driver instead. Believe it or not, he played with a 44.5-inch driver in recent years prior to this change, and sooner than later, several issues with the 45-inch driver he opted for came up. His dispersion and center contact was an area of constant struggle. Bothered, Smith told Titleist tour rep J.J. Van Wezenbeek he wanted to go back to a 44.5 inch driver again. Now when you cut off even the slightest bit of a driver shaft, it means you have to add weight to the head of the club so that there's no discrepancy in its swing weight. And that's exactly what the duo did. After making sure that they got the driver weighted properly in the Titleist Tour truck, they went to the US Open's practice range and did a couple of test runs with the new driver. Needless to say, they weren't disappointed. Where the 45 inch driver was making the player struggle to exercise control over his ball flight and center aim, the 44.5 inch gave him no such problems. Up next, visible improvements. According to Van Wezenbeek, the shorter driver tightened up the strike pattern slightly, providing the player with better center aim, something that was necessary, considering he's back to working his club in both directions off the tee strip. One concern they had, however, was that using a shorter driver would mean lesser swing speed, and so lesser distance covered, which is the last thing any golfer wants. Distance should never be compromised when making driver changes, but lo and behold, Smith was ecstatic to discover that he actually wasn't losing ball speed, even though his driver was shorter than before. Talk about odds being in his favor. Van Wezenbeek went on to explain that yes, there's a risk of the swing speed decreasing once the shaft is shorter. Keeping that in mind, it's also noteworthy that if the strike location is more controlled plus more centered for the player, it gives them even more freedom to strike well. So even though the shaft was shorter, there was no loss in ball speed for Smith. Instead, the 44.5 inch driver gave Smith the ability to make consistent strikes, lose no distance, and have better control over the ball's trajectory. 
Now, Smith's performance. Smith was, of course, elated with the betterment in performance that the shorter driver gave him. The player's champion expressed how he felt he could control the fairway more accurately and swing better, enabling him to hit a few balls on the range during his test runs. The first move away from the ball is the most important to the golfer, and once he's away from that, the swing used to sort of fall apart with the longer driver. And this isn't his fault. He knows what he's doing. It was just the length of the driver, leaving him helpless in the face of the swing sequence. Grant Field held a similar approach opinion, commenting on Smith's performance at Memorial, where he hit only 50% of greens in regulation for the week. At last week's RBC Canadian Open, he hit less than 49% of fairways throughout the four rounds. These stats weren't bad at all, of course, but Field pointed out how his ball striking tee to green was Smith's biggest strength so far, and having guided Smith from his Sunshine Coast base all year, Field has the best idea of his strengths so far, especially since their combined efforts and opted swing mechanics were what gave the athlete five PGA Tour titles, and two titles in 2022 alone. Field admitted Smith could perform better in terms of ball striking at the Memorial, but he knew it wasn't the golfer's fault. After all, the player is number two in strokes gained approach the green, and his driver was much less of a problem after as well. The week before the PGA was the opposite for the player, who was either leading or second the whole week in ball striking and wasn't putting as well. Next, Smith at the US Open. Smith is confident that the environment of the US Open is one where he'd excel in his game. That is, if his long game performance matches up to that of his short game. Smith's been under the spotlight for seven years now, when he was 21 years old, tied for fourth at the 2015 US Open at Chambers Bay. Now he wants to make a bigger impact in the game, especially since he's much more acclaimed as a golfer, with plenty of accolades under his belt. The 28-year-old has expressed his inclination towards the US Open, talking about how the environment seems to bring out the best of his abilities. The higher stakes, the competition, and hence the demand for a good performance is exhilarating, to say the least, and it drives him to to grind out good scores consistently. This year in particular, he was appreciative of the US Open venue, commenting on how it was one where he felt like he could flourish. Keeping that in mind, he took all the necessary precautions to ensure his game was top-notch for the 2022 US Open, working with his club fitter and Van Wiesenbeek to undergo driver testing and tighten up his driver game, not settling for any less than the best. And it definitely paid off. There's a moral to this story for any golfer out there, amateur or pro. One should always aim to improve the consistency of their center contact when in search of the right driver. Swinging harder seems like the end all, but it really isn't. The difference in distance doesn't matter when you can't control your driver the way you want to. That's a wrap for this video. What did you think of Smith's performance at the 2022 US Open? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.